All right, class, everybody calm down. Everybody quiet down. I need everybody's attention up here. If you're with me, let me get two claps. Welcome to Bus Scenes 101. This is where you will be learning about all of the behind the scenes of Bustle with the Boys. For our class today, we're gonna to be going over six topics. If you look on the chalkboard behind me, you will see these topics. We have our first ever spelling bee. Toilet etiquette, peeing on the seat. Your teacher, me, roasting an ex-NFL player, Will Compton. Beer Olympics conflict, how to get through conflict, how to stay friends, how to make friends, and how to keep friends. Fifth, the difference between underrated and overrated. We're talking celery. And lastly, the punishment for being late, Mitch Carsley, and bonus segment, Cooper's sleeper build. We got about a 45 minute session ahead of us, so class, please turn your books to the first pages, and let's go ahead and get into this spelling bee. Spell aren't. Like are not? Yeah. That's the look of a man that has no idea what's going on. A-R and apostrophe T. Is it E? There's an E in it? A-R-E and apostrophe T? It's a good way to start my Wednesday. Anybody else get it wrong? <laughs> Will. Yeah. How do you spell aren't? A-R-E-N apostrophe T. A-R-A-R-E-N apostrophe T. What happened? Taylor spells it A-R-N apostrophe T. That's tough. I mean, that's a tough word. That's considered, what is that? Uh, what do they call it? Uh, compound? R not? Did you do it right. But that's a tough word. It's not. He I, goes, he goes, uh, you've been spelling it wrong for so long on Twitter. I thought, that's the first time I've heard that. It doesn't have a red squiggly underneath? No, I think it's paper. <laughs> type it in. Hey, type, hey, type it. Now press space. Now press that red. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get that part. Listen, hold on. Just give me a second. <laughs> it's cat, so maybe I'll do it again. Oh. Oh no. What happened? You know me up at Twitter, man. Is it Twitter? Life. Whatever. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Leisure. Oh, my God. This would be painful to get that wrong for me. Correct. 
Top right. Correct. All right, correct. All right, just a little, <laughs> little palate cleanser to get everyone's confidence back. The word is extraordinary. Done. Come check my word. Uh oh. Oh god. Yep. Yep. No, incorrect, Gary. No. <laughs> what's, it, what's it called? The uh, where you die? Gulag. Yeah, the gulag. Oh. The, gulag. <laughs> the word is reconciliation. Me and my friends are spelling the word reconciliation. Done. <laughs> Already, Jack. Correct. Pressure's on. <laughs> Correct. Oh. Correct. Did they all get right? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, let's go. Wow, all right. Good little run, Ron. 500 right now. The word is psychologist. I am. You can check on now. Correct. 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 Alright. Going all the fucking around. Alright, the word is <clears throat> mischievous. Really bet it now. McPherson. Incorrect. Is anyone ready? You, you, can, ready? you can do mine. If I just... Incorrect. Oh! You can start mine. No, Incorrect. I, I think so. Fuck! You ready? Sure. Oh! Nobody? Incorrect. That was so close. The correct spelling is M I S C H I E V O U S. Lieutenant. Oh, this is a tough one. That's why I can't even think about how to spell it. Right? Check who? Uh, incorrect. <laughs> check, check me. No, no, don't check me yet. Uh, so I'm, still, I'm still thinking about it. I'll give you all give you about 10. <laughs> all right, check mine. Ready? This one right here in the middle? Yeah. Correct. Dang that's it. That's a big one. That's big. That's big because I'm That's not big. Gonna... Correct. <laughs> Fuck. The correct spelling. L-I-E-U-T-E-N-A-N-T. L-I. -E -E Y'all ready for a good one? Yeah. The word is effervescence. Effervescence? I actually think I got this one. Effervescence. Just come check mine. Uh, yeah, up here. <laughs> this is my best shot at it. Correct! Wait, alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> you better check, bro! Wait, really? Will Zwill might be smacking the spelling here. I was way off. I can't trust this doubt though from JP because he's pulling it out on the street. Incorrect. One what letter off. What was your first three letters? E V. Yeah. yeah. Is F that a word? Is effervescence Effer. a word? I don't know. E F F E R V E S. I would have got it wrong anyway. -E. The word is dichotomy. Uh, uh, I have no clue. Yeah, just check. Come check. I want a free word movie streak. Catch it. Well, the streak ends today. Correct. Correct. Come check me out, Jack. Are right, you ready? Correct. Fuck oh, shit. Will is on a heater. Incorrect. <laughs> How many have you got wrong total? Three. I'm, I'm two back on y'all. I have eight wrong. Three more words and whoever takes those is the winner. First one, vinaigrette. That's tough. Oh, I'm gonna get this one wrong. Vinaigrette. Are right, you check me. Ready? <laughs> Incorrect. God damn it. Y'all about to be back in the game with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just falling apart. You never know, all it takes what is one. Are we in? Incorrect. Incorrect. We gotta have a deduction for this man. When your eraser runs out, it will not be provided another. Yeah, go ahead, check it. Incorrect. No one got that. The correct spelling is V I N A I G R E T T E. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn. That's close. The word is sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla is a drink. 
Sarsaparilla. 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 Simlax. Am I saying this correctly? Sarsaparilla. 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 Here you go. Wrong. <laughs> you ready? Sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. Think of think of, think of Sam Elliott saying it because he says it in The Big Lebowski. There you go. Wrong! The thing is that no one's gonna get it right. He might get it. Incorrect. He ain't gonna get it like that. Next we'll get it wrong. <laughs> wrong. Yeah, this is tough because it's spelled S A R S A P A R I L L A. This is it for the. This is between me and Will. If one of us gets it, it's the champion. These should be weighted though, yeah? <laughs> this guy, man. Effervescence, dichotomy, those should have some weighted. Oh, stop it right there. Shouldn't these be weighted for difficulty, uh, teacher? Because that's this doesn't seem to be very fair. Shut up, Will. Spell the dang word and stop taking so long. I mean, those are higher grades, you know what I mean? So what's what's worse to misspell? An easy word or a yeah, hard but word? Yeah, you miss out on those couple points you got. Like, okay, I missed a two-point word. But keep but bending the rules, man. Bend the rules all you want. But I landed a five-point word, you know what I mean? What grade level are you on? 11th grade. The word is cataclysmic. Oh, oh, oh cataclysmic? No. Cataclysmic. Uh, you, you can check mine. Get out. Wait. Correct. Ooh, freaking go. Save these faces. Are you not ready? No, no. He's ready. ready. He's ready here. Come on! Underline one. But also tell me if either one was right. Two. The other one was right. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I have two right now, man. This looks like a fucking... <laughs> like an old Victorian painting or something. <laughs> Should be waited for the difficulty. Should be waited for time. One of these, correct? Oh, are you ready? Which one do you want me to check? Do you see them both? Yeah. Are either of them right? Are you done? Are you ready? Well, yeah. You have to pick thing. one. You have to pick one. Incorrect. This is the bottom one? It's incorrect. Both okay. Both. <laughs> Thank God I wouldn't kill myself. You got you. Good game. Yeah, got you. <laughs> and I have a Lucian. I'm so about the brand. Yeah, I think we tied. Did we tie? Because you got mischievous wrong. But you were leading at the coach, beginning. Time out, coach. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six. Right. And then. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So uh, do we need a tie? Do we, we got need, a do tie. We, do we need a. We need to do another word. Down? Hand up. That was on me. I promise I was not trying to cheat. I just want to let y'all know that I am not a cheater. I'm not a cheater. Will knows that. The boys know that. That is my fault. Should not have happened. But the ball never lies. That's my, it wasn't intentional. No, I know. I don't, I don't feel like you cheated. Yeah. I thought I was behind you too. All right, I've got your word. And it is handkerchief. I don't know if this is right. I feel like there's something cute in there. We gotta be up 20 soon. seconds. Here, you can come with your mind. Correct. Let's go! I knew the trick was right. Put it back on Will. Put it back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's huge. All right, Will, you can spell yours out loud if you like. I don't fucking know, man. If you're gonna throw me a little hint. I can't throw you a hint, the championship. Well, hey, just a little hint. The championship? No, man. I'm sorry. Will, right do you have a Lucian? I do, yeah. He'll help you with uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's pretty gas. Oh. <laughs> that is not a good sign. H-A-N-K-E-R. It's- Oh, you're so close. It, it's, it's like handkerchief. Hand. 
H A N D K E R C H I E M. Who are the lowest two? Who the handkerchief. Lowest? Handkerchief. That was the trailer really back in the day. Because well, Hank does not look that. right. I'm just thinking like. Well, whatever. One that I'll be right there. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Now I can't lie, it feels good to be the Spelling Bee champion and I'm not even going to talk about it that much more because we're about to get into Taylor's part of the Spelling Bee. Taylor came late and if you've followed him on Twitter you know the difficulty he can have with spelling. I feel so bad saying this but I could not help but think Beetlejuice from the Howard Stern, man, he's one of my favorite people of all time. Beetle and Taylor might need to have a spell off. Let's roll Taylor's Spelling Bee. Did you Write down spelling bee and then put your name in the top right corner like you were in school. Nope. So, yeah. really count. Oh. Got the date on there? so already I got bonus too. He's stalling. Give him the first word. Yeah. All right. First word. Demonstrate. Over under five and a half. <clears throat> okay, I'm good. Demonstrate. D. E. M. I. <laughs> Is it an E? Is it an E? The correct spelling. <laughs> Is D E M O N S T R. Demonstrate? Yes. It's not with an I or whatever you said. Demon. I'm not mad at that. That's actually, that, that should get half points. So I have two and a half points right now. Well, I have my wife's calling me. Hey, honey, I'm doing a spelling bee right now. I just have the first one wrong. I don't want to tell you. Demonstrate. <laughs> you spell it. M-O-N-S-T-R-A-T-E. I gotta go. Correct! <laughs> I gotta go. Number two, knowledge. K-N-O-W-L-E-D-G-E. -E. Let's go. Right, you heard one. him drop that D, too. Right, D? Right. Knew y'all thought I was. One and one. Know. Third one, entrepreneur. Pass. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneur. All right. Go ahead. A. <laughs> I spelled it. Aunt. A. <laughs> pan ever. <laughs> All right. One for three. Your fourth word. Consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. Consciousness. Say it one more time. Consciousness. I'm ready. C O N C. Fuck! It's S, isn't it? Yes. I, I, I erase the S and I put the C. Your fifth word, Scandinavia. This is wrong, but I'm ready. Hold on. S K. Oh, God. I see. Yeah. Fuck! I got it wrong. I think we're gonna get to the point where it's like, y'all just gonna feel sad for Taylor. It's no longer fun for everybody. But what's the next word? Says? The next word is Definitely narcissistic. Not. Say it again. Narcissistic. There's no way there's that many S's. Proceed. N A R S. That's a C, isn't it? Yeah. N A R C I S S I S T I C. Narcissistic. There's a few wrong on that one. All right, you are one for six. All right, your next word is leisure. Family leisure. I'm ready. All right. L E A. What? You were wrong on the A. The Spell correct me. spelling is L E I S U R E. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the word is extraordinary. You got this one, big dog. Just wait till the last five. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Say it again. There's like quotes with this. Extraordinary. Okay, I'm ready. Combine two words. Man, Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> e X T R A O R I N A R Y. Oh no, bro. Are you sure? Wait, wait, are you sure? Let, let, do that again. Yeah, he no, he didn't say it. He didn't say okay, it. Okay, cool. Wait. E X T R A. There's supposed to be no one there. R D I N A R Y. Yeah, he spelled it right. Yeah, yeah. Did you? He, he, he didn't he, say he had the, the D in there, but he didn't <laughs> say the D when he was saying it out loud. <laughs> Number nine, reconciliation. Come on, man. Reconcile. 
Reconciliation. I'm ready. Well. Yeah, what? I'm ready. You know, Will sees me falling. He's just trying to get better. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to help. That's not how he's going to get better. Uh, yeah, right that's now. how I do with you with the, with the penetrable. All right, all right. That won the contest. Hey, hey, hey. R. You really e heard about that. C O N S I L I A. I'm not mad at that, dude. That's only one letter. The word is psychologist. <laughs> he just started to play music. Say it again. Psychologist. Okay, I'm ready. No! No, I'm not. Get ready. P. S. Y. C. H. O. L. O. G. I. S. T. Good job, Taylor. So what do you have, three right now? I have four out of ten, not including my two points for my header. You have three. Yeah, but I got two halves because uh, demonstrate was only one letter in reconciliation. So <laughs> you have three. <laughs> All right, next word. Mischievous. All right, ready. M I S C H I E V I O U S. Oh. No, what I miss. Uh, you added an extra. The I. correct spelling, yeah, you had an extra <laughs> I in the end. It's oh. Lieutenant. Because I think I have all the letters right, I'm just wor really worried about the first three letters. Trust your heart. L. U. <laughs> <laughs> Is it L I E? Yeah. Lieutenant? It's e L I E U T E. -E you put three of them boys right next to each other? <laughs> Don't tell them, Will. Don't fucking tell them. <laughs> tell them. He's like, when he goes, I just need the first three letters. He's like, I was going to phone Will. And I stood there and I go, oh my God. And then he goes, L U. I'm thinking, <laughs> God damn it, I just did the pinky. All right. Well, how many do I have right now? One, two, three. I'm not Batman. All right, go I ahead. said three. How many did you get, Garrett? Six. Mm. He's got a shot at his, his back stretch. No like, chance. Yeah. The word is effervescence. What? See, right. I got to trip e. up on. I thought it was different words, which I spelled. F. Yeah, you're good. Okay. E R. E F E R. Okay. It is E F F E R V E S C E N C E. Effervescence. Those S's, man. The next word is dichotomy. D Y. That word shouldn't have been on there. Vinaigrette. Just, what you doing over here? Get out of my fucking face. What are you doing? Man. Counting yeah, right. up how many you got in the last 10. V the hardest E G Incorrect. Alright, what's next? The next word is sarsaparilla. S A S P O R Cataclysmic. C A T A. C L Y S M That's why I got confused when I was counting up. I see. Let's go! Oh, he got it! No, I spelt it wrong on the paper too. That's fine. fine. He got cataclysmic. <laughs> and unfortunately, so slow came in last. That's okay. Wrong. Couple things with Taylor spelling bee. First off, shout out to Taylor. He knows spelling is not his strong suit, yet he stepped in that batter's box and he was swinging. And I have no doubt if you gave Taylor three weeks because of the type of personality he has, he's locking down a spelling bee and he might even podium. The second thing I wanna bring up, which we let slide by completely too easily, Will just cheating in the reflection of the spelling bee trying to help Taylor out. I don't want to bring last beer Olympics up, but when Will was accused of cheating, I didn't want to believe it, but now this is a second offense. Lesson number two, how to use the bathroom. We had an incident at the shop where somebody peed all over the seat, all over the floor, and walked away and acted like it was no big deal. You probably saw the poll on Twitter. A lot of people thought it was Mitch, but you're about to find out who it was. Roll the tape. He's on the seat every day. That's gotta be me then, setting up the seat. I got a powerful stream. Do you ever live the seat? No. And you live, you have like seven girls in your house? Yeah. And Taylor gets mad at me, literally got mad at me last night about it. Oh. Good. You don't live to see when you pee. 
Yeah, you do you lift the seat every time you go pee? If there's women in the house. <laughs> Get off your arms, Jack. Yeah, I understand. I can What? Damn, I know. I was with a misogynistic king. <laughs> <laughs> Coop, do you lift every time? Not every time, no. Oh my god. Look how see I wiped it. No, that was, that was, I would say, there's a 99% chance it was me. I went in there and it was slattered and I was like, hey, oh, I looked at Coop, I said, Coop, did you pee in there last? He was like, oh, that, that might have been me. I was like, bro, we can't wipe the seat? Coop said that or I said I, that? I didn't say it might have been me. No, no I me. said, oh. I was like, Coop, did you pee last? And you're like, oh, it might have been me. Listen, boys, we know my eyes are bad. You see me squinting, trying to read things, walk in that dark little area. I didn't see the pee. If I saw the pee, I'd wipe the pee. I don't know. <laughs> you wouldn't would, you would even lift the seat? Yeah, but if I see Pete, there's I might lift the seat. Rarely. If I don't lift the seat up, like, I just know in my head, no matter what, whenever I get done pee, because I want to stand here and be lazy, I'm still going to have to rip off toilet paper and clean up the seat. So you're saying if you pee in the middle of the toilet, you're going to guarantee it hit it? Yeah, there'll be some shrapnel in there. Unless it goes, bounce and bounces out, I don't know. I don't usually have that. Oh, well, that's crazy, because what, what I know right now is... Yeah, and what I told you was, it's dark, I couldn't see very good, and I didn't notice. And even you, may, you might not even hit the rim, but if you just hit a little courtesy white, you just never know. You want me to... Absolutely, I, I'm just thinking that I, I'm just thinking that I... Yeah, I'll just lift the seat up. If you don't lift the seat... Well, yeah, that's I'll the... I'll just lift the seat up. That's, that's the, the right. smart thing to do, that's the most efficient thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm going to do now. Yeah. Alright. So we're on the same page? Yeah. Power's going Brother, out. Brother, Carlson. What is the power going on over here? The Ritz Carlson. What is? The Ritz Carlton. A R N T. What's that? What is the power going off here? Fucking a couple times. When we turned the lights off? You were late one time. I don't know. I don't even explain myself to you. Now this might be a great time for some of you guys to practice apologizing. For those of you who are calling out Mitch in the comments, for those of you who are calling out myself in the comments saying we were the ones that peed in the bathroom, Take this time to apologize in the comments. Let us know that you're sorry and that you will never doubt us again without knowing the whole situation. Now this next part, y'all know the saying, I'll lie for you, I'll never lie to you. I put this in here because it was a good roast on Will. He had just ratioed me on Twitter and I need the world to see the verbal abuse I put on him in this next clip. Sell out. That's a good swing. Hey, yeah. nobody messes with your the, the worst part is that you I gotta go so low. Look, is that what that, that's that was? That's money. That's what that was. Let me pull up something. What are you talking about the ratio yesterday? yesterday? Oh, see, I really can't do it. I, I ratioed him yesterday. You got me yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. That's why I had to get into the day, I had to get something. Do you respect Ron as a rapper? Yeah, I love Ron. All right, so Ron also replied, oh yeah, we're going to the top, take me with. That's a great compliment. You should take his, what he says over mine. Yeah, that's genuine. The platinum records speak for themselves. Yeah, you come to my house, you can see your platinum, bro. I'll send you a photo today. Oof. You got, I mean, you gotta. Oof. You gotta check that, Will. You can't just let him say that that confidently. You have to go to his house tomorrow. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'll wait for him to send the photo. No, you need to go. I ain't going into his. Shows you how much Carl cares about this conversation. His studio apartment he's got. <laughs> How you got a million dollars, you live next to a railroad. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just need to play. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> no lie. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know how that was in the comments. I'll, I won't speak too much on it. I'll let y'all have your own opinion, but I feel like I got him. I feel like I got him good. Next, let's get into the importance of friendship. The Beer Olympics. Taylor's questioning Will's commitment to the Beer Olympics. This pisses Will off. And y'all see what happens when Will and Taylor butt heads. Do you think Will is committed to the Beer Olympics like Taylor is? Let us know down below. Seeing the Will Compton I saw at the Tennessee Titans, at the Raiders, at the Redskins. At the Beer Olympics last year. Is not the Will Compton I'm talking to right now. Why? Because every time I talk about us get to work, it's a laugh and a scoff. Because you say it like you're trying to feel, like you're trying to gauge my temperature on what's happening. If you don't trust me, you need to let me know that. And that I trust right you there will fracture, that will fracture our relationship. <laughs> It'll fracture us. You know what will fracture us? Because to me, you, you, should have, you, should, you should have no doubt in your mind Do you know what that I'm coming ready to go. You know what will fracture us? Is if you don't just put the work in this offseason. Because I know I'm going to. Where, when has it happened? It happens every night. Oh, wow. Every night before bed, I chug a bottle of water as fast as I can. 
Call my wife. We time it too. Twelve it's, ounces, 0. 0.75 seconds is my personal best. All record. I'm saying, if you don't believe that I'm not bringing my best, then we're not we're not going as teammates. Don't do that. I'm just saying I'm, that the ball's in your court. If you really don't think I'm I'm not going in to win, then we shouldn't be going as teammates. See, because I can't have that doubt in You came with the fire the next right five now, You came with this fire the first time I brought up us working hard. They would never even have to have this conversation. Because I Thank God, I had to poke and prod you a little bit, and now I'm seeing the flame. Because and that's what I love about you is maybe you just need a little push, and that's okay because we all need it sometimes. Because I would like my yeses to mean yeses. Like if I'm like, oh yeah, we'll be ready to go. That's not and how you say it. Come against, that's not you come how you say it. it. Yeah, because well, when you, you ask go, the second, third, fourth, fifth time, I'm like, okay, I'm going to laugh at this because now you're trying to just ruin this shit. Because you even <laughs> said it last night in text I put here. You go trying to ruin another moment because we just landed. You want to tell them who, who, who? Confirmed yesterday? I'll bleep no. it. I'll bleep it. I'll bleep Why? it. Why? Tell him. I'll bleep it. Bach and his partner. And if Bach doesn't deliver on that, he'll be breaking our trust forever. Okay. I'm mm. glad to see you have this fire. Yeah. And I'm glad our relationship was in jeopardy just now. To me, That's I feel much more comfortable about June 25th. It's truly crazy to me that you've started to ever fester any doubt in your mind. Like, based on all of it, you should just know the boys, he's going to be ready. He's going to show up. How many times have we talked about training? Let's say a dozen since the game has ended. Yeah, like, yeah, like too much. Okay, too much, right? How many times have you brought up training? None. Zero. Cause I'm so if let's stop being bro. reciprocated, obviously there's going to be some doubt. Like, does this guy want to be in the trenches with me? Do you want to work see, to achieve greatness? You're not seeing me a boost every week. I see a boost every week. Okay. But I see you Don't drinking? you see me running? Yeah, I see you Okay, running. stamina. The trash. The you know, around. at this moment in time in the offseason, we can't just be pouring alcohol in our system. No question, but we can get the water cups out and we can work on taking it. Just come out with me and Jack one, one night. <laughs> <laughs> we, I know we're going to have fun. Why? Because we're fun guys. And we're bringing a bunch of other fun guys with us. And it's going to be a blast. That box is checked. I want to win. We deserve to win. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Time out, time out. Are you about to start doing it again? No. Are you about to start clutching it again? No! You literally just said- I just said it. it's gonna see your piss off! Your body language goes, that box is checked. I just wanna win. And I feel like you're gonna go into another lecture of winning. When you know- Call you it know. a lecture or call it a coaching point, Will. You take it how you do. You know- How you're able to receive the information will show me how coachable you, know you are. You're gonna see the boy with a backwards hat, a knee sleeve on, ready to fucking put some beer down and perform. I, I fucking hope so. I'm gonna stop questioning it. Is there a chance Will and Taylor have two different partners for the Beer Olympics? I don't know. The next lesson, we're giving you the behind the scenes of the celery argument that gets him worked up. The thing about Will is he has this vein in his neck, sometimes his head too, that when you start getting under his skin and he starts getting emotional, it starts to pop out. And that's when you know you're getting good content. The vein equals good content. So is celery overrated or is it underrated? Y'all watch this, check out the poll, Leave what you think in the comments. Celery with peanut butter though. Celery with peanut butter. Fire, fire. You get like celery is, it's like that little, when you're eating wings, it's like that little thing to cool your mouth off for a little bit. Cause you're eating hot wings. <laughs> that little thing that can cool your mouth off. Like, come on, man. Yeah. You gotta sell <laughs> celery better than that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to try and sell it to you. I just think it's like a, it's an underrated snack. Right, I, I kindly disagree. I think you either love or hate it. What do you think is like an underrated snack? Like to me, for something to be overrated or underrated, it needs to be something, in my opinion, that for the most part is universally liked. I think celery is relatively universally liked. Yeah. No, it's not. It is. Why else? Check, check, check the ratio last night. The likes are different than the replies. Check the ratio last night. I think the ratio probably happened because it was funny, not because people don't like celery. <laughs> fair point, fair point. Maybe we should bring it to the world. Should I put out a poll? Do you like celery, yes or no? Yes, make a poll. I'll do that. Because to me, I feel like celery is more of like a cult following. Like, you just either, like, kind of obsess about celery and fucking ranch and celery and peanut butter. <laughs> Nobody obsesses over you celery. Guys, you guys obsess with it all the time! No, we don't. We you just, sit there, we're I'm literally... Like, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, hey, can we get uh, 12 wings of this, 12 beer, 10 here? And then you guys are like, oh, please make sure there's celery in that, too. Like, please don't miss the celery. Now you lying for the camera. Yeah. Now oh, you man. lying for the camera. Oh, no, man. I don't know if we've ever said that. That's never happened. I'm, I'm did made, you say dumb shit all the time? Yeah, yeah I, I do say, say that. I do say dumb shit all the time, but th not that. That's all I need to say. Put the I'll, poll. I'll put it up. I'll put up the poll. Okay, conversation going on right now at the shop. <laughs> now let me see if I can skew this at all. So you're nervous? No, I just you gotta ask the right question. 
Yeah, you gotta ask the right question that's slanted in your direction. No. That's what you just said. Yeah, but it's still making it fair. Agreed. Is celery a criminally underrated snack? You need to go just slamming these words, like trying to... You said it's underrated. The criminally makes it seem like it's... What would you like me, what would you like me to ask, Mitch? Is celery an underrated snack? Yeah. That, is, yeah. that was the initial yeah, question. Yeah, that's the question. Yes, no, it's shitty. Just put yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta put no, it's shitty, because that was my response. Two hours? All right, it's out there. I, I only eat like celery with white wings, so like I, I don't really like, I don't eat it as a snack. I didn't even know people ate it with peanut butter, so like, I, don't, I don't eat celery. You don't know people eat celery with peanut butter? So I, go I, I race so on top of the eggs. No. But I don't think it's shitty. There but you, you don't think it's underrated. It kind of is. No one ever talks about it. You don't even think about it. What do you mean? Go, hey, not, let him make his decision. He's obviously not thinking for himself. He just wants to be with y'all. He just wants to tap yes. Well, I said I like celery, but I never think about it. I would make it underrated. Exactly. No, you said, you said, I mean, I'll have celery with wings, but I didn't know it was a snack. Like, I don't ever eat it just as, like, a snack. But that's not what the poll said. Like, when you order wings, <laughs> yeah, but you're trying to make it. If it was underrated, in your opinion, you'd be talking like it needed more love. You don't even think about it unless it's sitting next to wings on your order. You don't say, hey, can I get 12 wings? Make sure there's celery on the side. Please, celery on the side. You don't say that. You're just like, oh, yeah, I forget celery comes with this. Let me just go ahead and eat it because it's sick. I like celery. Boom. So it's underrated. Yeah. It is, man. <laughs> You're one of those guys who just like, oh, people are protesting. Let me go make a sign real quick. Fucking sheep, man, surrounded by sheep, bro. I was at the worst example of all time. You just said that dark chocolate is underrated. No, 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 no. No shot, hey. I cannot stand Will. Just spit on the ground of where we work. Spit something out of his mouth and then just left it there. Is that not insane behavior? From a 33, 34 year old? That is our workspace, you spitting on the ground. Come on, Will. Don't spit my words. And my example was, it's like when I came across the dark chocolate uh, peanut butter cups at Trader Joe's and you're like, yo, these are phenomenal. I've got to put people on notice with this because people have no clue what they're missing out on. Chocolate? So you post about it and bring people and you're like, yo, you've got to try this. People are not talking about this enough. Yeah, hey, that is underrated. People know about chocolate. People do not know about dark chocolate peanut butter cups at Trader Joe's. <laughs> not enough anyway. And all, all, the army out there that understands that, they're like, yo, comp is spitting fucking facts right now. Yeah, the gentrified army. <laughs> like, celery's been in front of us our entire lives, and it it doesn't even really get it's any delayed. shine. That's because it's underrated. Exactly. That's because it sucks. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the definition of underrated. <laughs> yo, imagine, imagine the dark chocolate peanut butter cups got served at the end of every oh meal. Everybody, like, yo, what is this shit? Look at the... Look at that vein. Over some celery. I worry about what, what he's like when he's arguing about something something more serious, because if that's off the celery, look, look at this, off celery. That's crazy. Keep it going. This celery's not a dessert. Celery's been in front of us for years, bitch. It's never, it's never gets, a, it never gets any spot. You keep saying the definition of that is underrated. It's so, it's so bad they have to put it next to wings to get any type of notoriety. Oh, I bet celery has more sales than the peanut butter cups. That would be. Ooh. I, I would love to go down that road. I would just just to know, because it probably does. Like, yeah, I mean, it's such a niche thing. Yeah. But that's the fucking point. Because celery is so shitty that restaurants have to give it away. They just give it away. They order it too. Okay, so Mexican restaurants. No, they don't. I mean, they you yeah. order celery? Go to the restaurants. Yeah, the, the restaurants, yeah, I'm sure the farms just give celery to them because it's shitty. I'd like to rewind to you saying that the restaurant just gives, a, gives away celery, right? Yeah. Mexican restaurants just give away chips. Right, but that's like their thing. <laughs> <laughs> But you don't get served complimentary, like in the beginning, like, hey, a, a server will be like, hey, we got some, uh, our bread's coming. Everybody's like, oh, hell yeah, the bread. But if somebody was like, hey, we got that celery coming, then you're like, oh, a staple in this restaurant is the fucking celery. That is the case with any Mexican restaurant you go to, like, you get complimentary chips and salsa. You said complimentary celery with wings. You're right.
The celery just shows up. Big conversation right now at the shop. Is celery an underrated snack? Mm. Yes, it's underrated. No, it's shitty. 31% yes, it's underrated. 69% no. 14,099 people. I'm still not buying that people don't enjoy celery and ranch and celery and peanut butter and ants on a log. It doesn't make sense. Will's polls are always skewed because obviously they're his followers. That does not represent the American majority. All right, y'all see it up here. Our last lesson, the importance of being on time. Last bus scenes, Mitch was under fire for not spending time on Twisted Questions and then he ratted us out for leaving a little bit early on Fridays. This time, Mitch crosses the line again, Will and Taylor get upset, and we find Sydney Sweeney on his computer screen. And before the video wraps up, you get to see our new guy, Cooper. He's been claiming he has a sleeper build to Will and Taylor take his clothes off of him. There is no nudity, not in this one. That will be on our OnlyFans link, which will be in the description. You tell us, does Coop have the sleeper build? There are all the right reasons hey, for sure, but- Where was Mitch? How he, just, he, he left middle of the meeting, right? Hair. I thought he was just going to the bathroom. He had a haircut. He had a haircut? He didn't say anything to you? No. I mean, it's 11.15 on a Friday. We met after the, the Barstool Mandatory DraftKings meeting. It was what, like 10.30, 10.45? Like, hey, let's do a team meeting that goes over everything that we're going to be doing in Vegas so we're all on the same page Monday through or Sunday through Saturday. Everything charted out hour over hour. I thought he went to the bathroom. <laughs> And just right after in the last video, he, he, when he ratted himself out on the Friday. Talking about Fridays. Oh, Friday's kind of a light day. What do you recommend? Do I need a intervention? Like you think some people, like, oh man, be, you know, I appreciate Will being this way, but uh, let me not take advantage of him. You going to get a haircut at 11 a.m. on a Friday? For what? Barcelona, Nashville? God damn, we, hey, we need more grinders. We need more grinders. God damn it. Haircut during our meeting? Yeah. <laughs> yes. You went to get a haircut. Hey, Mitch, the boys are trying to cover for you. And also context. Literally today, we had a meeting. When did this come out? Uh, this will come out in February. So we had a meeting about DraftKings today and the partnership going on. And I came downstairs, took a shit, and I was talking to you guys and had a coffee. And legit, Will checked me on it. He's like, bro, this is a meeting. Like, this is all the things we have to follow. <laughs> you should be in this meeting. We're partners. <laughs> and he had to check me. And we're in the, the little next meeting. Ten minutes later, does he not... Yeah, I had no clue. I, I just I went to the bathroom. That's crazy. The entire routine. JP had the question of like, you know, I was just worried about us being later on time. It's almost like we could split up and guys can start thinking ahead. He's nowhere to be. He's, He's getting a haircut. For Barstool Nashville, man. For downtown. Mitch is one of those guys where like you root for him, but he's also a dude that cannot get right. He's a, he's a can't get right guy. Can't get right, Mr. Can't can't get right. Yeah. Love you, Mitch. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> nice knowing you. Did you tell Will or Taylor where you're going? I did not. <laughs> Will was asking after, where did Mitch go? He's like, I thought he just went to the bathroom. Like, no, like, he went, he went to go get his hair cut. He's like, he just dipped out. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... It's not like I wasn't not coming back. No. I'm, just, I'm just prepping you for when they come back. No, I understand that, and I understand that I'm probably I will get shit for it. But the meet it was the meeting not over. Mm -mm. How much longer are we all up there for? Yeah, maybe twenty five. <laughs> it's a nice haircut, Mitch. Listen, I understand. I know I should not have left, but I was under the impression that the meeting was over because we're done talking about the important stuff. And then I asked Stephen, like, hey, is it cool if I dip out real quick? Like, go get my haircut. And he's like, you got any questions or anything? I'm like, nope. So yeah, go ahead. Not blaming it on Stephen at all, because I was the one who made the appointment and decided to leave, but I was under the impression that the meeting was over. So what are you saying? That I shouldn't have left. And I apologize. It sounds like you're saying it was okay to leave because... No. You're saying Steven gave you the thumbs up. Because we... I, I, I was under the impression that the meeting was over, so that's... Therefore, that's why I asked. Steven, he's saying you told him he could leave. 
for his haircut. Haircut in the middle so, of a meeting. Not, this is what not, I was. Not, this is blaming, what I was told. not blaming you. Not blaming you. Now I'm getting. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's say what no. Steven has to say. Let's I feel like I'm getting thrown under the bus here. No, the guy, the man, looked at me and said, "I got a haircut at 11. Can I get out of here?" It was 10:45 at that point. And we were, I think, at that point, wrapped up with that particular conversation, not necessarily done for the day. Why would you say in the meeting, hey, are we good here? I have a haircut at 11 I'd like to make. That's size 2020. One day after uh, we had a great one-on-one. No, we did have a great one-on-one. And it's not like I was planning on leaving. It sounds like you plan on leaving every Friday. I'm here. I don't. I'm never saying you shouldn't come in on Fridays. Steve, when you were at, was it Fox? I was at Fox Sports. Friday's off? No. Okay. No. I'm coming back. I'm just I, I worked many weekends. At DraftKings, I worked every weekend. Really? Every weekend every you were weekend there? Every weekend I worked. We have a, a little bit of a case for Mitch, though. I overall. will say this. What Mitch is good at is he is first one here every single day. That's not true. Uh, That's not you. No, no, no. Here, here's what you said. You said, Mitch is here every day the first one here. And I have multiple examples of that's not true. I've seen JP here. I've seen JP here before everybody else because I was the second one to walk in. There I would say there's there. more of a case for him being here every day than you being here before everyone. Before everyone, yeah, you're right. I have two kids that are in school. Do you have two kids in school? No. Do you make Do you take the time as a parent to make sure that you drive your kids to school to get them ready for the day? No, I come here. I'll make sure and call Mitch uh, at eight fifteen when I'm dropping my kids off at school to make sure you're here. Sound good? Oh, I mean, this isn't between us. Well, you made it that way. <laughs> I, you're I was defensive. talking to Mitch. You're no, 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 no. I pointed out something that you said a definite, and it obviously is not because I've seen JP here first. So if you're okay, well, that's also here. not a definite. I would say Mitch consistently, he's getting here before me. That's great. How many haircuts? So Taylor doesn't care about that. <laughs> Real question is where's Coop? Where's Coop? Where's Jack? Yeah, I don't hear Taylor coming at Jack. Dead ass. <laughs> Dead ass. You, know, you guys know personalities. You know how you can talk to some people and sometimes you have to have one-on-ones with others? Me? I gotta eat it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's hey, a, actually, a, go ahead and throw someone under the bus. That'd be sick. Yeah, no. For JP to, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, here is it. I got, I mean, I gotta promote. It's Friday, so somebody's gonna work on Friday. Hey, man. You, hey, would you guys like a haircut? You guys go get haircuts if you want. President, I so, got mine at 8 p.m. How about Tuesday, like, one? Can I go, like, Tuesday, like, one? Do whatever you want, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Mitch, is that all right if he goes Tuesday at 1? Yeah. Should I check in with Mitch from before I get the haircut? Hey, I'm teasing you, bro. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. No, I know you are. But I know a part of you is actually being serious. And that part of me, <laughs> and that part of you is, uh, is the part that I'm, like, upset because I know I let that part of you down. That's a team player right there. It is, because he's right. <laughs> <laughs> I see him. Back. Hey! Back. Really? He got, he got some meat. Come on, bro. Take it off. I'm never wearing my gym clothes here again. Oh, oh, the sleeveless! Oh, fuck! Oh, God! Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's on you. Hey, hit the most muscular. Come on, now, stand up. There you go. Oh, oh! Oh, <laughs> shit! Hey! Don't let me see a little stomach. You got a six pack? He got six. He's too skinny not to have a six pack. Yeah, come on. I got a six pack. I don't even try. Oh! Hey. oh yeah. Hey, no, I just want to stand up. Stand up. Make you take it off. Yeah, you got something though. Go off, man. Y'all resume. Yeah, I see Coop. Coop nasty. I, I go to the Y with Coop. I, I've been I've been knowing about the sleeper belt. Been knowing about it. You gotta love Coop, man. You gotta love Mitch. Mitch is a great guy. He just can't get out of his own way. But he will get there. We're gonna help him get there. Thank you, everybody, for watching this bus scenes and coming to class with me next month. I don't know if it'll be class. I don't know if it'll be at the movie theater. We'll be somewhere fun, but thank you for the support. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. So thank you. I can't say thanks enough. Gratitude is everything. Show somebody some gratitude today. Peace.